Hello, good evening and welcome to the Virtual Racers Club. And uh, a special treat for you here, this is a stunning piece of uh, automotive machinery. It's uh, the Lamborghini Venon Venino 2014. I mean, you need a special invite if you want to buy this and it's one of the most expensive just invite cars in the game. Let's get on to some facts and uh, figures. Let's play Top Trumps. So it's made by Lamborghini. They are Italian and it's a 2014 uh, sorry, road car. The engine code is L539. It's naturally aspirated. Its displacement is 6.5 litres and its engine type is a B12. Its power is 739 brake horsepower and it's a seven-speed gearbox. The layout of the car is mid-engined and the drivetrain is all-wheel drive. The weight is um, 3,197 pounds or 1,450 kilograms. Its performance, the top speed is 239 miles per hour and the performance points in GT7 are 687.30. This bad boy is 5.019 meters in length. Its girth is 2 meters, 0 0.075. And the height, oh, I just heard a huge hit there. I just absolutely smashed that bad boy. 3.6 million credits into the barrier, eh? And uh, what about where was I? Height is 1.171 meters in height. The Venino is a special model of Lamborghini introduced at the Geneva Auto Show in 2013. This is a limited production road car commemorating the 50th anniversary of Lamborghini. Only a total of three cars were ever sold. So there's only two more out there, lads, because I've got this one. The Venino is based on Lamborghini's flagship Aventador with a stunning exterior design and precision aerodynamics that hint at a new generation of Lamborghini. The front section includes an extremely low V-shaped front nose and has all the properties of a front wing on a Formula car. Combined with the high-mounted variable rear wing, a gigantic rear diffuser and, an, and a shark fin that extends from the roof to the rear wing, massive downforce is created to help increase cornering speed. The full-time four-wheel drive system is combined with a pushrod suspension and powered by a 6.5-litre V12 engine with a seven-speed two-pedal uh, MT as in the Aventador. However, for the Venino, the engine power has been raised to 739 brake horsepower together with additional weight reductions including carbon monocoque, the car is 125 kilograms lighter than the Aventador. I wish they wouldn't keep putting the Aventador in there because I really struggle saying it. At uh, 1,450 kilograms. The performance difference is clear. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour is attained in 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 355 kilometers an hour. In December of 2013, a roadster version with no roof or side windows was also announced and nine of these cars were sold. This car can be purchased in the Lamborghini section of Brand Central for a whopping 3,640,000 credits. But an invitation is required to purchase this car. I love driving it, I've got to say. <laughs> it, I know, I, these are all getting a bit samey because I'm like, oh yeah, I really enjoy driving it. And it might be the whole VR experience sitting inside a car just feels so stunning but this car it was just fun that it was like a, the accelerator very responsive very good handling in the corners i mean the only time it wanted to really kill me is at high speeds when you apply the brakes the brakes are shoddy they're shocking at high speed they're all right going normal speeds like this but as soon as you get that car up to some real sort of you know ball receding speeds then uh, your braking is is scared to touch the brakes because it's always going to spin off it seems so yeah i'd say those brakes are not good enough for the speed that that car goes but look at it it looks unbelievable it really it would turn heads driving down the high streets
if you whip through your council estate in that, then uh, people are going to notice. They're going to know you are so money. But for driving, I, I took it steady because, like I said, my outset, I always want to just get to the end of the lap without too many dramas. And as you see, I'm not going too easy because I'm, I'm running wide in places. I really am pushing for a time because the car is so fast and feels so good. But yeah, I'm very concerned with braking going into some of these corners. I'm braking very early, lifting and coasting a little bit before I apply the brakes. What I think this car could really do with, and I'm no engineer and aerodynamicist, but if Lamborghini, you are listening, 13 years ago, I mean, what is it now? God. Yeah, we're in 2020, 10 years ago, if you're listening, you want a flap on that, you want like an air brake. When you apply the brake, that car could really do with something coming up and, and helping the brakes out because it doesn't like to slow down. As we found with most of these cars, you'll see at the end of the straight, there's just, I've got no, no recourse or, or anything to do. When I touch the brakes, it goes, it just goes, spoiler alert, we're gonna have a huge crash at the end of the straight. But, man alive, 3,640,000 credits. It was painful. It was painful when I spent it. I'd, I'd, I'd done some hard work for that money and it all was all gone. And this is the first time I've really driven it. And it is stunning. Now, driving around, I wasn't sure where this car was gonna place in the table. I thought it's gotta be the back mono because I think I'm on sports tyres, sports mediums. Oh, there you go. See, touch the brakes. She just, I just barely survived that. But yeah, touching the brakes down that straight, she just doesn't want to go. And that's a 3.6 a million car I've put in the barriers twice. It's the Lamborghini Veneno. If you get the opportunity and you've got the credits, buy it. It is an amazing experience. Bank my bum and call me Judy. That I was not expecting. I really was not expecting that. The Lamborghini Veneno 2014 a road car is second fastest in our little group of cars so far. And that, that blow me down with a feather and call me Arthur because I really wasn't expecting. I was thinking maybe, uh, I didn't think it was going to beat any of the racing cars. Maybe the beat the Audi somewhere, maybe. Well, no, I wasn't really even. I thought it was going to end up ahead of the back mono because obviously it's a lot more powerful than the back mono. But I thought it wouldn't be faster than the group four cars. <laughs> but it's a lot faster than the group four cars. I mean, ridiculously faster than some of those cars. And it's uh, it's beat the Subaru as well. It, it, wowzers. I tell you what, that, that Isle of Man time attack team, they should have taken a Lamborghini Veneno around uh, uh, the, the, the streets to get the, the record, because wowzers. That car's fast, yeah, buy it, wow. It's fast, it's great. A 711.672, people. And that is the Lamborghini Veneno 2014, dead sexy looking car, dead fast supercar, and uh, doesn't like to brake. So if you don't mind tampering with your car, I would buy some newer brakes for that. I'd go to the auto place straight away and uh, update the brake system because, yeah, it's not good at braking at top speeds. So, wow, I am flabbergasted. I really am. I don't know how you guys feel, but that's, that's shocking. Hit like, subscribe, and share wherever you can, and if you wish to, these videos, because it helps the group expand, and then we can have fuller lobbies for our racing, and that means more racing, which means more entertainment, which means it's a full circle of life. That's the circle of life. So get it done, all right? Tiru, peace and love, peace and love.